Chester Arts Foundation promotes the significance of art in everyday life and its impact on the health and success of a community. Here from the Pulitzer Arts Foundation is Director of Public Projects and Engagement, Kristen Fleischman Brewer. Welcome, Kristen. Hi, thank you. Hi, thanks for coming. So tell us a little bit about the Pulitzer Arts Foundation. Yes. Uh, we know you're in Grand Center, um, so and you've been there for quite a while now. Yes, so the Pulitzer Arts Foundation is a non-collecting art institution. We are located in Grand Center on Washington Boulevard. We are, uh, as I said, non-collecting. So we do rotating exhibitions and programs. And I emphasize arts here because we work with visual artists, architects, designers, performers, musicians, poets to do all sorts of projects at the institution. And we really pride ourselves on being experimental, progressive, and we love collaborating with local artists and institutions, but also national artists, institutions, and curators as well. Okay, so it's really interesting. So non-collecting, every time you go there, you're going to see something new, basically. Yes. Nothing stays there. Yeah, so it rotates, and we work across time periods in history. So you might come in this week and see sculpture from 19th century Italian artists, and over the summer we'll have... Uh, an exhibition that's curated by an artist focused on painting and contemporary art. So it really ranges. So there's really something for everybody. Yeah, so how far in advance are you guys planning your um, um, events and exhibitions? It always changes. So we, we like to stay nimble and current. So we mm. like to hold space to be reactive, but then we also like to give time for scholarship and research. So. Our team in particular, the public projects and engagement team, we work on a much shorter time period. Mm. So we're really planning projects that are happening. You know, we, we picked a program last week that we're doing next week, really? um, up to a year to two years out. So we mm. really range on what we work on and um, it, it varies depending on the art form and what the artist requires. So to a certain amount then you're responding to what's going on in today's culture in the world? Yes, we do. As an institution, we really do like to be responsive because we want to be meaningful to people's mm. lives. We really want to be impactful. So as well as what makes, you know, what matters to people today, but also what's going to contribute towards research and scholarship for the field of art history at large. So we really like to hold space for both. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is in uh, being able to um, exhibit so many different types of art forms um, from film and video to sculptures and paintings. Do you have a sense for what our St. Louis community responds to um, the most? That's a great question. So our team is in charge of community engagement. So we really are focused on the people from the minute you walk into our door, how are you experiencing the artwork? And I would say it really ranges. Mm. Um, I think that people can have really poetic meaningful experiences with 19th century sculpture um, that is tactile, that is visceral, that they can really feel something about, but they also really like, let's say, some of our poetry readings with mm. contemporary poets that are political and social and can impact them in a different way. So it really ranges. Yeah. But I think, our, in general, our audiences are all curious and they're interested to learn more about their lives and about the world through art. Mm -hmm. And what's the best way for people to find out about uh, what's coming up? So you'll check out our website, pulitzerarts.org, or you can find us on social media. At mm. uh, Pulitzer Arts is our handle uh, on Instagram, on Twitter, and you can find us on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. All right, Kristen, we're going to um, talk about, we're going to take a quick break right now, come back and talk about some dance um, coming up that's a, a whole art form in and of itself. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll learn more about the Pulitzer Arts Foundation and their upcoming very special event after this break.